From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. If you remember back a couple of years ago, the Boise River wasn't open to floating until July because of heavy runoff, so that may be that late again this year. Meanwhile, beautiful blue clear skies this morning as the sun is getting ready to come up. That's a nice backdrop for the city of trees. And we have temperature right now at 43 degrees, south winds at 3 miles per hour. So very light and uh, temperatures within a couple of degrees of average for this time of year. But colder over in the Eastern Magic Valley in some spots, even though it's in the 40s down around Jerome and Twin Falls, we have temperatures down in the low to mid 30s in some outlying areas and in the Eastern Magic Valley up into the Snake River Plain, a frost advisory is in effect this morning. And a flood advisory for the Big Wood River near Haley this morning. Most other streams and rivers still running high and fast and cold, but no flood issues going on right now as a result of the end of our rain and the cooler temperatures recently. But now as we start to warm up for the weekend, expect that runoff to increase once more. High pressure is building along the west coast, expanding northward into Idaho. And over the next couple of days, it will grow stronger and stronger and uh, settle into southwestern Canada as a closed high pressure system. In that position, there will be some record temperatures, record heat up in that area. We'll be on the southern end of that high pressure system. At the same time, a low pressure over the Rockies grabbing onto some moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. That's why there's so many showers and thunderstorms going on east of the Rocky Mountains. But that will start to move westward, a very unusual path for a low to take, cutting under the high pressure ridge, moving up into the Pacific Northwest late in the weekend and early next week. That will bring a chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially near the Nevada border. In the afternoon today, clouds build up from residual moisture in the air and the heating of the atmosphere, and that's mainly over the mountain areas for an isolated shower. Valleys stay mostly sunny, and it'll be the case again for the next couple of days. It all dissipates in the evening and then builds up again in the afternoon, dissipates overnight, and then back up again the next day. By Sunday and Monday, though, we'll see a little bit better chance of showers and thunderstorms popping up in some southern areas of Idaho as that low tracks by to the south of us. So for the Magic Valley today, sunshine and in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees, a little breezy, upper 50s into the low and mid 60s in the central mountains with sunny skies, mostly sunny for the west central mountains as clouds build up a little bit this afternoon, low 60s in McCall and 64 in Donnelly. And we're looking at temperatures in the low to mid 70s in the Treasure Valley. Sunshine today, a few afternoon clouds popping up and then dissipating by evening. 72 in Boise, 70 in Mountain Home, upper 70s Friday and near 80 on Saturday. Mother's Day looks great, doesn't it? 83 degrees. Fair to party cloudy skies Sunday and Monday and in the mid to upper 80s, maybe hitting 90 degrees by the middle of next week. Look, that's maybe too hot, Jim. I found something else to complain <laughs> about. Thank it. you. I knew it. Thank you. It 